set. Set. Double set. Don't you stop shitting around and help out? This is your move, not mine. I could be out clubbing right now. It's 4.30. So? I could be getting ready for clubbing. Or going to a free party. Oh. Well. This is... Something. Remind me again. Why are you moving into this place? My grandfather left it to me and it was available immediately. Besides, it beats moving in with Grant. There's that. Your brother's obsession with sports is unhealthy. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said about him. Thank God. It's your crappy life wasting away here and not mine. Screw you, Val. You know what I'm going through. <laughs> it's your own fault. God knows what you see in that... in her. But if you're really this upset, you should just apologize to Willow and get her to take you back. She's cool enough that she just might do it too. It's not that simple. There, there are other things I can't Ugh, just- stop with the excuses. You make everything so dramatic. I make things dramatic, Valentine. What I do is not drama. It's putting on a good show. <laughs> Hi, darling. We wanted to bring you a housewarming gift. Thanks, Mom. Hey, Grant. We are so sorry to hear about what happened with you and Willow. If there is anything your brother can do, please let us know. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're here for you, bro. Hello, Sophia. Grant. Oh, Val. I still see you're following Adam around like a lost puppy. It's better than... You know what? It's not even worth the wasted energy. I'll see you around, Adam. I have no idea why your friends are here. Them. My friends don't need your approval. Uh, have you had dinner yet? Uh, not yet. It's still pretty early. Hey, it's not fun with Brad an early bite. Especially if the game's on. I know this awesome sports bar only a couple blocks away. I'm not really hungry. I can't believe- Your loss. You are planning on living in this place all by yourself. It is going to be so much work. I don't know how my parents did it for so long. It, it's only temporary. I don't plan on staying here long. That's why your father and I moved to the Green Hills community, you know. They have maintenance staff that do Everything for you. Dude, your Wi-Fi sucks out here. I hope you're planning on getting the full cable package. It's only temporary. Like I said. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for the cactus. But I do have a lot of unpacking to do, so... Oh! Um, we understand. Uh, yeah. Um, actually, I need your brother to give me a ride to the Snyders anyway. Love you, Adam. See you soon. Bye, Calvin. Love you too, Mom. How oh, is this my life? Everybody's so fake. They're all wearing masks. Facades that had the real them beneath. Even me.
Coming, just a sec. Hey Val, you're early. Oh! Sorry, I uh, <laughs> didn't mean to catch you in the middle of something. Oh, no, it's fine. Um, can I help you? Oh, I'm Leo. I'm your neighbor. Just thought I'd come by and say hi. Oh, um, thanks. Uh, please, come in. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm Adam. And I'm not wearing any clothes. <laughs> um, why don't I go get changed and I'll be right back. This is a really cool house, you know. I've never actually been inside before. Huh. Really? You, uh, you live next door long? About five years or so. I've always loved the look of this place. It's got such potential. <laughs> uh, potential is quite the interesting word for it. I would say dilapidated. A building like this has a lot of character. If you, uh, if you say so. Uh, thanks for the apples. Sorry about the call. <laughs> no worries. It's nice to meet you. Are you on your own here? Uh, yeah. Just me. Uh, they passed for just one person. Are you a writer or something? <laughs> I wish. I work in tech support. One of those, have you tried turning it off and back on again? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> what about you? I'm a graphic designer, mostly freelance. Hello, anybody home? <laughs> uh, hey guys, uh, this is my new neighbor, Leo. Leo, these are my friends, Val and Emil. Close your hands, so. Well, uh, more hands are always appreciated. Ready at cleaning? Oh, no, Leo was just stopping by to say hi. Um, thanks again for the apples. Hey, if you need another hand, I can help out. Oh, you don't have to. I'm sure you've got plans or something. It's really no problem. I'm pretty free today. Besides, if I didn't, what kind of neighbor would I be? The hot and bothered kind. Are you sure you really don't have to? Really, I'm sure. Well, uh, thanks. I appreciate it, Leo. Um, why don't you and Val bring in the rest of the boxes from the porch? Uh, Neil and I will start cleaning in here. Sure thing. Man, what a neighbor. And you don't even appreciate it. Huh? Me? Oh, nothing. Anyway, pretty nice find, this place. It's huge and costing as mine to use the apartment. Hey, I like your apartment. It's cozy. <laughs> Lipstick on a pig. It's small and cramped. Hey, it's a nice apartment. Besides, it's not like I found this place on my own. My grandfather left it to me. I'm just paying off the second mortgage he took out before he died. You two must have been close for him to leave his whole house. Not really. Him and my mom had a falling out when I was just a kid. Only met him a few times. No idea why it got left to me. Sorry to hear about you and Willow. You guys seem to be together forever. Since college. You must have had something special. I've never even had a relationship with that long. It's a bit more complicated than that. Hey, do you want us to start leaving the boxes by the stairs or do you want to sort, sort them by room? Um, if you could start bringing them upstairs, that'd be great. As you say, mon capitaine. <laughs> You doing anything later? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna date with this guy that at the bank. I'm sure you can use the help unpacking, but uh, no amount of pizza bribery is gonna change those plans. You know? Yeah, I um, understand. Well, this place is fitting. Willow! Oh, Lady Sara, 
fun, I presume? Nice to see you two, Val. Glad to see no one's dropped a house on you yet. Look, you brought your own flying monkey. Shut up, Val. What do you want, Willow? I just came to check on you. You were such a wreck when we last spoke. You mean when you threw me out of my own apartment? Over nothing? Over nothing? Don't put this on me, you little cheat. I gave you everything, and this is how you repay me? I didn't cheat. I just had thoughts. That weren't about me! Um, I should probably go. It was nice seeing you, Adam. Hope to see you around. You know, let me walk you out. What? I'm enjoying the entertainment. Fuck you, Val! Sorry, love. I've got standards. Your own hands don't count. Oh, no, Val. We'll talk later. Are you sure? Okay. Just call me if you need anything. Come on, Lackey. You can escort me out. Hey, I'm not. Just go with her, Grace. Them. Them. Why, Grace? I thought we were friends. She knows where her loyalty lies. More like who bought it. Don't let the door hate you on the way out. I've missed these sparring matches. I can't believe you'd rather be here than with me. Did I have a choice? Of course, Adam. I'm willing to take you back. Willing to take me back. I may have overreacted a little bit about your indiscretion, but can you blame me? You know how mad you make me. If you didn't get me all worked up, we wouldn't have any issues at all. Now would we? Are you serious? <sighs> Let's face facts, Adam. It's not like you're some hot commodity right now. Your daydreaming is just that, a dream. I am the best you are ever going to get, and I am giving you a free pass on your stupid little mistake. Think about it, Adam. You can come home whenever you want, but the longer you wait, the more reparations you'll have to make. Fuck her and her abusive shit! Fuck her for being right. I'm seriously screwed up. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Val would understand, but nobody else would. I've wasted half of my life living a lie. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Just start over? Risk losing my friends and family? I am sick and tired of trying to be something that I'm not. I'm just, I'm just so fucking exhausted of it all.
And besides, we can't all succeed on our first try, you know? Autoerotic asphyxiation, that's the way to do it. You're all overthinking this. One bullet straight to the head. Why be wasteful? Ugh. Am I hallucinating? I am nobody's hallucination, I assure you. No. Sadly for you, this is all very real. Your attempt on your life has left you at our doorstep. So what are you then, psychiatrists? Ha! <laughs> Psychotics would be more like it. We represent what you humans call sins. Each of us, an avatar of one of the seven. Avatars? Of the seven deadly sins? Would you like me to repeat myself? Yes, just so. Your not-so-untimely demise called us forth, and unfortunately for us, you failed to pass through the veil. So now, we are stuck with you. What you doing? Looking for side effects. I mean, I suppose we are, but you're not going to find us on that bottle. What the hell is going on? This is lust. Sloth, wrath, Yo. envy, a pleasure, greed, and gluttony. And I am pride. Yeah, I get it. Pride does not do me justice. I am vain glory. Okay then. So, what are you guys doing here? I mean, if I'm not dead, I'm guessing I'm not in hell. Ooh. Can I get this one, V? Go ahead. Awesome. So, think of us like psychopaths. You know what those are, right? Killer clowns? No, they're beings that help the dead cross over. That's why we were called. But since you didn't die, we can't complete our task. So, we're stuck here. Two questions. <laughs> Just two? First, why are my crazy pumps sins? Psychopomps. Sure, that. And why all seven? Each individual is different. Most folks just get one or two. We don't usually travel all together, except in special cases. Wait, what does that mean for me? Why am I a special case? You said you only had two questions. That's four. Suicides frequently call to us sins as their guides. The exact state and nature of the soul in question determines the amount of intervention, and in your case, it called to all of us. Yeah, but I don't understand. If I'm not dead, why are you still here? Five! Shut up, Greed. You didn't quite make it through the veil. Instead, you got stuck. Like, in a spider's web. So now you get to have... Seven sins following you around from now until... Until such time as we are no longer needed. And when will that be? That is up to you. <laughs> I don't believe this. This must be some sort of drug-induced psychosis. You mean, are we only in your head? No such luck, I'm afraid. If I off myself for good, will you go away? Oh, well, uh, nothing is that simple. You're in a sort of limbo now. If you try taking a shortcut like that, it won't go the way you want or the way that we want. Lust is right. As Envy said, we're guides of sorts. And since we couldn't guide you to the land of the dead, we're stuck here guiding you in the land of the living. Meaning? We're what you might call your life coaches now. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> One step at a time, cutie. <laughs> oh, God. 
Okay, not trying that way again. Failure sucks way too much. Plus the dreams were way too crazy and vivid. Okay, people, ah! breakfast is ready. Uh, ah! Ah! Good morning, Adam. Love me. I got the milk you wanted. You had to pay an arm and a leg for it. Damn inflation. Hey. You, you're real. Of course <laughs> we're real. Oh. I told you that last night. Weren't you paying attention? I hoped you were a drug-induced dream. No such luck, huh? And no use for an empty stomach. This way, this way. I can't believe this is happening. Ah, denial. My third favorite river behind sticks and leafy. Was that supposed to be a joke? Yes. Look, it had to be made, okay? And if I didn't make it first, someone else would have. Trust me, no one else would have made that joke. You can't expect Adam to eat all this food. Of course not. I just didn't know what he liked yet. So I made apple pancakes, apple waffles, and cinnamon apple french toast. You know, just in case. Um, the french toast, I guess? Oh, that's what I wanted. Oh, it's okay. I don't really care. You can... Don't listen to Envy. He always wants what others have. I don't understand any of this. Then ask questions. As, <clears throat> as many as you want. <clears throat> can other people see you? We can be seen by other mortals, but only if we wish them to. And we typically do not. Does everyone get psycho plums at death? P O M P S! Psycho plums! Okay, that! Well? Sort of. No. <laughs> What my companions are trying to say is that everyone's provided guidance, but that the guide can take many forms. I'm sure you've heard of near-earth experiences or people seeing a glowing light. That is one form of psychopomp, just not the only one. But other attempted suicides, I've never heard about anybody being visited by um, you. Of course not, love. If you just tried to kill yourself, and then started telling folks you're being followed around by some of the seven deadly sins, you'd be locked up in a heartbeat. Better to just stay quiet. Some ignore us, some try to rationalize us away, and some don't even see us even though we are here. Ooh, how do I get that option? What? You don't like our winning personalities? For most, we are there only briefly. Something easy to dismiss, to forget. How long did you say you were going to haunt me again? We're not ghosts, Adam. We're not haunting you. We're... Well, we're... We're haunting you. Fine. Whatever. And as for how long we stay around, that is up to you. If you let us help you and show you how to enjoy life, then our stay will likely be brief. If, however, you wish to deny our existence and ignore us, well, I imagine we shall be a thorn in your side for a very long time indeed. Just great. Do I have any say in this? No, you don't. You made your choice when you took those damn pills. And like we said before, if you try again, you will not have the outcome you want. Don't worry. Without helping you out, kind of fly by in the blink of an eye. <clears throat> Do I smell apples? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> You do that a lot, don't you? Lucy, I'm home! But continues to fail to be funny. You have no sense of humor. I am but a mirror of your own inadequacy. Aren't you supposed to be improving my self-esteem, not tearing it down? Whoa there. Let's not get into an argument so early in the day, okay? Sloth, it is 5.30 in the afternoon. Even worse. No fighting before you go to bed. Uh, I think that's food. Uh, excuse me. What's Clutton making? Okay. Something to celebrate our three-month anniversary of meeting. Math? 
What? He fails to take the situation or us seriously. He treats it like a game. Hell, he won't even listen to me. I'm standing right here. No fighting before bedtime. It's not that I'm not listening, Rav. I just don't know what you expect me to learn. How to not be a pushover for what? Wait, you think I'm a pushover? Enough. Rav, take a walk. Rath means well, and she can provide- Hello? Adam? Are you home? Oh joy. The turncoat. Your door was open. And you saw that as an invitation? I just came by to see how things were going. You mean to see if I'm ready to crawl back to Willow? No. I can't stop by and say hi to an old friend? Are we? We were the oldest of friends long before Willow. And yet you take her side on everything. Not everything. You literally fought me about my favorite color because Willow disagreed with my opinion. A misunderstanding. I'm here for you too. God, may his name be in vain. You are insufferable. The only times I've seen or heard from you since the breakup, you've either been with Willow or running errands for her. That's not true. I came by just the other day to check in. I mean, living in a place like this, you are one strong wind away from having a tree fall on you or losing power. I remember. Now that you mention it, we... I mean, I was having some internet trouble last week, just after your last visit. Gee, I wonder why. Mm. Purely a coincidence, I'm sure. Just like I said, things that wouldn't happen if you were still with... Don't me. even say it. And I managed to fix it. By I, you mean myself and Rath, yes? Hey, I helped too. You just sat there and told us we were doing it wrong. Shh. Excuse me? Nothing. I, um, thought I heard a mouse. Hey, it's the saboteur. Did you come to confess? You know those things carry diseases, right? I can't imagine living in a place like this. I could never live in such squalor. There must be a way to get her to go away for good. Ooh, I have an idea. Not now. Not ever. Adam, you want to know why I went with Willow? Her friendship opens doors for me, provides me with opportunities. In yours? I like you, Adam. I always have. You're a good person. <laughs> that doesn't get you very far in life. Wow. No offense, Adam. Offense taken. <laughs> Are you for real? It's just facts. I, no, I think that's enough of you for today. I didn't Goodbye. <laughs> Is she gone? For now. I wonder why she keeps coming by. It seems like so much work. She's working an angle for Willow, I'm sure of it. I just can't see what it is yet. Hey, can I share my idea now? Yeah, sure, go ahead. A murder! What? Uh, I expected something like that from Wrath, not you. We can't just kill her. <laughs> yeah, that would be way too much work. No, 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 not an actual murder. A murder mystery party. Like in the movie we saw last week with the butler. You mean Clue? No, no, no. The one that had three endings. Uh, proof? Inkling? Evidence? Something like that. And what would be the purpose of this murder party? To get the truth. To reveal her true motives. That's what they do in the movies. Then we can put an end to her visits. <sighs> Sounds like way too much work. And unnecessary. Hey, Leah. Hey, I just got great to leave in again. Did you need to patch things? Not even close. I knew she was driven, but she literally admitted that um, our friendship was inconvenient for her success. Shit, seriously? That is super messed up. I'm sorry. So am I. Still kind of processing it right now, but um, in hopefully lighter fare, what brings you by? Oh, I was watching that. 
I just wanted to see if we're still on for tomorrow night. I got a new game and was planning on making pie. How can I say no to pie? Damn right! <laughs> you can't, obviously. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to it, but you didn't have to come over in person. I mean, I do check my text messages, I swear. I know, but it's nicer to see you in person. <laughs> You're such a dork, but I appreciate it. You have made my move and this whole situation a lot more bearable. It was a mess when I arrived. Hey, did you ever play chess? I took a chess course in high school. Why? Uh, I found this uh, chess set in the basement. And not one of those uh, cardboard ones with plastic pieces. Like, actual hand cardboard. Oh. This is me. Was it your grandfather's? No idea, I assume so. Pinky carpet? Uh, last I heard, he wasn't really the crafting artsy type. Hmm. Hey, uh, peacock motif. Haven't seen that before. Really? Yeah. Not on the queen. She just looks angry and carries a big sword. <laughs> oh, damn it, I almost forgot. Um, I have to get ready for something, but I'll stop by your place around 7 tomorrow? Yeah, sounds good. And bring the chest that if you'd like. We can play again? Yeah. See you then. Envy? Could you go get lost? I'm kind of nervous about tonight. Uh, uh, say no more. Thank you. I may not be lust nor envy, but I do think Leo may be attracted to you. <laughs> what? Oh no, not Leo. He's just a good friend. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, Okay, people, cake's ready. Oh, wow, that's impressive. Thanks, Gluttony. Did the first slice. Um, just a slim one for me. I'm heading out soon. What do you mean you're heading out soon? What about all the food I prepared? Wait, there's more? Of course. I got a three-course meal just about done. Although I decided I'll only have one cake tonight, though. Gluttony, Adam deserves a night out and away from us and hang out with But I made pasta. I like pasta. The pasta? here tomorrow. This is Adam's first official night as himself. And I intend to make sure it's memorable. About that. Could we talk in the other room, Musk? What's up? You excited? I feel like I'm gonna vomit. Awesome! <laughs> awesome? Yeah. You only feel like you're going to vomit. You're not actually vomiting. It's a good sign. I never felt like this with Willow before. Did you feel anything with Willow? Does depression and self-loathing count? <laughs> then no. I know this is scary. You've been hiding from yourself for years, but you took a big step and you're finally on your way. This isn't just about sex. It's about who you feel comfortable with. It's easy to dismiss me as primal attraction, wanting nothing but sex. But I'm also about desire. Not just sexual, but romantic as well. I know, I get that, but... No offense, this isn't about you. It's about me. I took a gigantic fucking leap. I mean, nobody but you guys or Emil even knows or understands. And that will change. As Vainglory would say, care only how you see yourself and not how others see you. Okay. This is it. I'll shout at you for as long as you need me to. Moral support and all of that, but the rest is up to you. Okay. I can do this. <laughs> Hi, Emil. Hey, sexy. Gotta say, I'm still amazed you asked me out. 
Never thought you played for my team. <laughs> you and me both. Good. 
knew you had to have it in there somewhere. Fuck you. You know, words like that lose their potency the more you use them. I don't know what's got y'all riled up, kid. My guess is that lust or envy would be better suited to handle this issue, but I can at least help you focus your feelings on it. I, I don't get it. Aren't you supposed to be the riling one? Common misconception. Look, I get it. Something put you on edge. Marge your otherwise good night. Probably you realized that all those idyllic dreams were just that. Dreams. The real world is a mix of good and ugly. It's not perfect. And what's worse is you already knew that. This thing was just further proof. And it feels unfair, filling you with despair and frustration and other feelings that just feed off one another. And you keep it all bottled up inside. You'd have no outlet. You're unwilling to confide in others or release it on those who deserve it. Okay, yeah, something like that. And just how are you going to fix it? I can't! Only you can! But if you at least give me a chance, I can help you with all those fucked up emotions the others won't touch. All of my emotions are fucked up. That is more of, God, greed's business than mine. Talking to the wrong person. Why do you psycho speak in riddles all the time? Psycho pops. We've been over this before. I know what I said. I'm not in the mood for any more of your mind games and just. You can't run from yourself forever! Stop yelling! Some of us are trying to sleep! You really need to learn some basics about maintenance, especially in this place. Yeah, I can't argue with that. I'm about as useful as a wet noodle when it comes to repairs. I didn't know you knew so much about heating systems. What can I say? I have many talents beyond simply being <laughs> exceptional. You mean being insufferable? <laughs> Sometimes. <sighs> Unfortunately, that took a bit longer than anticipated. I gotta head out. Plans? A date with a nice ace girl I met last week. You know, if you wanted. I know someone I could set you up with. I'm good. Are you sure? Good way to move on? I'm dealing with it in my own way. Promise. Not even a movie day? Those are nice. I'm here to talk, you know. I know, thank you. Now go on your date. All right, <laughs> we'll talk later though, okay? I could have fixed the hot water heater, you know. Probably. You two waste so much energy being mad at each other all the time. Isn't it exhausting? It's her purpose, isn't it? You don't understand anything, kid. Stop calling me kid. Stop acting like that. Stop yelling. But she started. <gasps> but. <laughs> Fine. You got potential, kid. If you'd only see it. When you grow a spine, come and find me. We'll talk. She is such an ass. You could be nicer. Seriously? Wrath has important lessons to teach. We all do. Huh. What? It's your anti-friend. Grace? What is she doing here? Oh, get down! Um, why are we on the floor? I don't want Grace to know that I'm watching her. Then why am I hiding from her? She can't see me. Go get Vainglory. But they're all the way upstairs. <laughs> Could you please just go find them? Fine. Thank you. Hey, what's all the shadow you got? Shh. Grace is walking around outside. Oh, you're actually a pet. Think she wants to come in for brunch? I made plenty. 
She's not staying for brunch, Gluttony. She's got to be here on Willow's orders. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, there was an email on your top left earlier from Willow. It's a laptop. Wait, I didn't see any email. Bree deleted it. What? Why? They said it was taking up too much space in your inbox, I think. I think it said something about her being excited about the good news and she'd be come stopping by. Wait, what good news? I asked her to go for coffee like my therapist suggested, but that's it. Your therapist? Part of coming out on my terms. Well, maybe she'd figure it out on her own and is happy for you? <laughs> Not likely. Well, then I don't know. Sorry, I gotta get back to brunch, but call if you need anything, though, okay? thought that that was their first mistake seriously Adam a therapist they're frauds a lot of them I did not come all this way to hear the ramblings of your therapist get to the point already man she's pushing okay um so I've been doing some sorting out recently and I was supposed to tell Val first you know Break the ice and all, but you kind of blindsided me and so... Blindsided you? I came all this way expecting an apology, but instead I get told I'm second fiddle to your fag friend? Yes, no. exactly. This turn I rather quickly. I have a fiddle. Um, <laughs> that, that's, that's not what I meant. Wait, did you just call Val a fag? That's what she is, isn't she? They. You see what people are like? How would she act if she knew that you were one too? We could throw a murder mystery party and find out. Enough about the party! Wait, what party? I don't ever likes my ideas. Um, nothing, just a stupid idea. Is that why you reached out? To invite me to a party? Well, of course you talk to Val first. If anything, she's good at planning events. They. No, that's not what I asked you. Send me the details. I'll be there. But I planned my whole morning for this, so this party better be worth it. Wait, Willa, 
But well, that's not. I'm not. Well, yeah. What just happened? Isn't it obvious? You caught a glimpse of what this world holds for the likes of us. I don't want your opinion. Go away. Your negativity is neither productive nor needed. Scurry off back to the shadows. Don't say I didn't warn you, Adam. What is she? A narcissistic control freak who needs anger management courses. I meant Ada. Ah, well, she is not quite a psychopomp like myself and the others. She is something more intimate, a manifestation of your inner self. Much like we are here to guide you back to life, her goal is to push you in the other direction. She wants me to kill myself. You should know by now that it is much more complicated. But discovering what that is, is something that you need to do on your own. We can only point you in the right direction. Your choices are still yours. Just peachy. Anyways, dealing with Ada later, can someone please tell me what just happened with Will? I think Willow just invited herself to your party. <laughs> but I'm not throwing a party. I believe you are now. Damn it. You are terrible at chess. Oh, gee, thanks. Sure, anytime. So, you still haven't answered my question. What question was that? But what inspired you to throw a murder mystery down? I mean, Halloween was like three weeks ago. Friends suggested it. Okay, but why? <laughs> I've never actually been to one before, but it just seems sudden. Too many people with secrets. Consider it my version of Thanksgiving. I can get behind that. Check me. Chasing chess for something else. <laughs> Maybe cards. Gluttony says the food will be ready soon. Once it's done, he'll sand your hair along with the rest of us. Okay, thanks. For what? The card suggestion. Poker next time. I know some fun variants. <laughs> uh, anyway, who are the other guests? It's a little eclectic. Um, my friends, Val and Emil, who you met. My mother, Sophia, and my brother, Grant. Grace, and um, my ex, Willow. Oh, um, that's a surprising guest list. How did I get the honor to join? Oh, don't take it like that. I want you here. I mean, Willow practically invited herself, and family is sort of an obligation, especially this time of year. Plus, I don't know, you just make me feel comfortable. And I could definitely use that when dealing with the rest of them. Well, I'm behind you, 100%. I appreciate that. <sighs> so it begins. <laughs> Hey, Grant. 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 Oh, uh, hey, bro. Uh, yeah, Mom just took a nap in the car. Uh, she'll be, she'll be out soon, though. A nap? It's not that far of a drive. It's Mom. She thinks getting the mail counts as exercise. In here. Fair point. Uh, Leah, this is my brother, Grant. Grant, this is my friend, Leah. Nice to meet you. Same. Hey, 
morning, Mom. Adam, I'm so pleased to hear you were doing Thanksgiving this year. It's such an effort for me to put on. I'm glad to have the break. Um, you do realize that it's not a traditional Thanksgiving, right? It's supposed to be a um, costumed murder mystery. Oh, putting together a costume for just one night? That's way too much effort. I didn't feel it was necessary. Besides, uh, your brother came in costume. As what? A football player or something. Um, Mom, this is my your neighbor, Leo. Leo, this is my mother, Sophia. It's nice to meet you. And you, Leo. I feel like I never meet any of Adam's friends. Uh, can I get anybody any drinks? Wonderful idea. I'll have a gin and tonic. I was hoping that maybe we could talk about what the plan exactly is before we go inside. What's there to discuss? It's a fact finding mission. Adam's been acting differently lately, and I can't figure out why for my revenge. Revenge? I thought you were getting back together. The two aren't mutually exclusive, but we need to figure out his angle first. His angle? You act like he's some master manipulator. Don't underestimate him, Grace. He was hiding something when he invited me to this party. I just know it. He's got some trick up his sleeve, and I intend to figure out what so I can use it against him. Um, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> with meticulous yet useless detail. You would know about being useless, wouldn't you? Oh, uh, okay, so we are just waiting on one more. We'll get started soon. Uh, why don't we head into the dining room and start looking over our characters? Right, Adam? Right, yes, follow me. Feel free to 
we'll go over your character's info, but don't share anything just yet. for drinks later. Seriously? Yeah. I can say for maybe an hour, then I gotta head out. Damn Ada for being right. Who? No, no, no one. You're just about the next conquest, aren't you? Oh, don't tell me you got attached after just one night. It's a bit of fun. Didn't mean anything. No offense, Adam, but there are other guys that have a lot more to offer. You can always have on the side, though. What the hell is wrong with you? Just a bit of fun? Do you have any idea how hard that was for me? To expose myself like that to you and ask you out on a date? Are you fucking kidding me? You left me to become a cocksucker? What the hell is wrong with you? Willow. I wasted years of my life on you, and this is how you repay me? Making me look like a fool? What the hell are you yelling about? I bet you knew this whole time. Laughing behind my back, you asshole! Willow, hun, what's going on? Oh god, you're so naive! Stuck in your own little world! You don't even know what's going on with your son! I don't understand. Of course you don't. Let me put this in simple words for your benefit. Your son is a big, fat, homosexual! Still in your team job! Hey, don't turn over my family just because he dumped you! Dumped me? He went queer! He's not a homosexual, you're demented heartbeat! Grant! Adam! Don't go defending me, slander! Grant! <laughs> what? It's true. What's true? Adam, don't. What? She said. I'm gay. Well, this got awkward. You think? I'm gonna go. This seems like a family thing. Don't you fucking go! Adam, are you sure? There is no reason to stay. Yes, Mom, I... I've been defending you! <laughs> Your behavior? I don't fucking believe this. Mom, grab your coat. We're leaving. What's his problem? Mom. I'm sorry, Adam. You did this to yourself. You Just shut up, Willow. You've done enough damage for a lifetime. Fuck you, Adam! Don't ever fucking talk to me again! Look. I've been through this before. I, I can help you through it too. Not as bad as it looks. Don't pretend like you understand. 
Your family accepted you without question, and you were never outed to them by your ex! Adam, Just I... Just get out! Leave me alone, okay? I'm here for you. Just call. You should go. Adam? I want to be alone. Please, just go. I warned you this would happen. You aren't meant to be happy. So long as you refuse my advice, you will be miserable. I thought I could make it work. That was your first mistake. You couldn't even admit who you were to yourself. How did you expect others to take it? What did you say? You couldn't handle the truth. How could they? No, no, the, the other thing about a mistake. What did you mean? You overthink things. Just act. End all of this without wasting time analyzing it. Willow said the same thing. Thinking is a mistake to you? To us. You need to follow that first instinct you had. End all of this and just accept oblivion. And what? Give up? You're not even trying? We did try. Look at how that turned out. Adam, life doesn't always go the way you want or plan. That's where you just give up on it. The desire to be more than what we are. It's what drives us as people become better versions of ourselves. Envy, you of all beings, arguing for that which you cannot have. I, like all things, have many facets. You overcomplicate yourself, and you try to blind with simplicity. There's more to each of us than you can say. Enough! I don't care who's right. It's just too much to process. I want to be alone. And that includes without you. He's never without you, know, and he will eventually come around. We'll, we'll see. Did you do it? And? And what? It was fucking hard, okay? But did it help? I don't know, I only just got them. But I still have to deal with a meal at work every day. Willow's out of me to everyone she knows, and my family still isn't talking to me. It doesn't feel like they will right now. It gets don't you fucking say it. I don't need empty platitudes from you. Standing up for yourself, good. What is wrong with you? So did you do it? Yes, Envy, I did. And? And? I had the appointment and they said yes. Isn't that enough? Well, I'm... Mm -mm. I guess. What is it we did? I had an appointment with my therapist and I asked for more help. Medication. That's awesome! You deserve a reward. How about a cupcake? I don't want a cupcake. Well, I hear pie, I can make strawberry, coconut, rhubarb. Let it go, let me. What's the point of all this? Why do you guys care so much what happens to me? It's partially selfish, I assure you. Limbo is painfully dull after all. However, we've also become, shall we say, attached over the last year, and we care about you. But you're avatars of sin. I thought we went over this. Forget it. 
He only sees us for what he thinks we are, rather than what we can be. What the hell does that mean? Why do you have to be so obtuse all the time? It means you need to stop seeing things as black and white and see the gray between. Yeah, not any less cryptic. What they're trying to say is that life is complicated and there's two sides to every coin. And again, with the metaphors not any clearer. Okay, let's put this in another. We've been here for a while now, haven't we? Yeah. And what have we done in that time? In terms of what? Have I made you hoard gold? Mm. Has gluttony turned you into a corpulent pig? Mm. Has lust made you have sex with everyone you know? Oh, what the hell are you talking about? No, of course not. Except for gluttony, he does make a lot of food. Hey, that is not true. I just, I, I just happen to like leftovers. And just, just, just don't. What are we? The seven deadly sins. And are sins good or bad? Bad? Like the things you just said that we didn't do. So, have we been bad? Kinky. Shut up. <sighs> I guess not. Is this the other side of your metaphorical coin then? That you represent more than just base instinct? I literally said that to you before you went out with a meal. I remember. Desire in all of its forms, not just sex. Now we might actually be getting somewhere. Like we said in our first meeting, we're guides, here to show you the path. Path to where? To the person you want to be. And who is that? That's for you to decide. However, based on the seven of us, I'd say someone who acknowledges all aspects of themselves, the positives and the negatives. And though you may not realize it, you have already started down that path. Have I now? Therapy. Heck, you started that not long after we arrived. And you stuck with it. And when Ada got too strong, you doubled down, asking for further aid. And that's a good thing? Being so screwed up that I need outside help and medication to untangle my brain? Hey, it takes more strength than you know to acknowledge you can't do it alone. I guess you're right. I'm not sure I would have been able to do what I have in the past couple of months without help. And you guys have been there for me, even if I didn't understand the how or why. And therapy did help. At first. And I guess it still does, it just doesn't feel that way some days. Change takes time. Some days will be good days and some will be bad. The goal is to have more good days than bad days. I have had some, some good days throughout all this, I suppose. And I want to come to terms with who I am and where I am in life. I can't keep being what other people want me to be, and I can't keep settling for what other people think I should have. I, I just want to be me. Go after my own goals, have my own ambitions. Um, what's happening? My work here is done. I don't understand. I've guided you as far as I can. It's up to the others now. It's been good knowing you, kiddo. Oh, wait, you're just gonna leave? You've accepted the part of you that needed me. So yeah, it's time for me to go. I, the others got it from here. I don't want you to go. I mean, you're a friend. You too. <laughs> but you'll be fine without me. You'll see. Goodbye, Agreed. One down, six to go. Aww. I wanted to go first. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. Yes, you can. Do you want to spend the rest of your life with what ifs and regrets? I.e. me. Oh, well, when you put it that way. <laughs> this is just another stepping stone on your path. We'll see you through it.
The tea is lovely. Uh, thanks, Mom. So, I wanted to talk about the other night. Go on. You can do it. You know, the party. Oh! That. What about it? You know, my confession about being gay. <laughs> I came up to you and you ran away. Adam, frankly, what happened at that party was inexcusable. Mom, I can't change. Of course you can. Stop inviting her to events for one. It's who I am. It's not... Wait, wait, her who? Well, oh, of course. I had no idea how abusive she'd become. And that outburst. Adam, she's just not good people. Okay, don't disagree with that. But you didn't even listen to me. That's not why I wanted to talk to you. I, I came out and you ran away. Well, I didn't want your brother to leave without me. But you left so you wouldn't miss your ride? I didn't want to call an Uber. But, so what, you don't care? Adam, it's the 21st century. Why should I care who you love? I mean, that's great to hear, but... Well, what? Can't we just get past this? No, Mom. I need this to matter to you. I don't understand. Do you want me to be upset because you're gay? No, that, Mom, that's not what I meant. I need you to support me. I, I need to feel like my life is worth enough for you to fight for. Isn't being accepted enough? No, he deserves better. No, Mom, it's not. I deserve to feel loved. Like, I have people who have my back. I hate how passive our relationship has been since Dad passed. I mean, I want to feel like you have an emotional investment in my life. I was torn apart the other night and you just left. I needed you to defend me, or at least support me. I'm sorry, Adam. I had no idea you were feeling that way. I just... I thought if I just let you and your brother handle things on your own that you would be better off. I thought you and Grant were better off without me interfering. That way I wouldn't lose you the same way I lost your father. But now we're losing you. I didn't mean for that to happen. If you want me, to be more active, I'll try for you. I may not be the mother that you need right now, but I'll try. It's happening again. Yep. It's my turn. <laughs> He's got to be second, right? Envy, I, I don't know what to say. Sure you do. Consider to her. You have self-worth and deserve to have people in your life that acknowledge that and empower you. I'm not sure I said that. Eh, different words. Same meaning. I'll see you around, kid. Not if I see you first. Well, that's the spirit. It's Val. Why don't you get out and I'll see myself Val. They've been really worried about you. Adam, they even called me yesterday. 
Hey Val, could you hold on a second? Sure, no problem. And I promise I will talk to your brother. I will be there. I love you. Love you too, Mark. Hey, I, I made your pie. <laughs> Thought you might need it. Hey, Adam, are you still there? What? Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm just taking my mom out. So, do you want to talk about it? How do you do it, pal? What do you mean? You deal with this shit on a regular basis. Hell, you've been dealing with it since before I even met you. And yet, you walk through life like you own it. This shit doesn't touch you. The easy answer? Life's too short. Why get home with all the crap when there's so much to see and do? And the hard answer? The hard answer is that it's way more complicated. And even my armor has cracks. Sure, I try to rise above, but the sarcastic, cheerful, witty, extraordinary. I get it. What I mean is, being Valentine is a lot of work. Over the years, I've built up a thick skin and armor to keep the worst at bay, but sometimes the trans movie still gets to me, and I just need to peace out, eat a pint of ice cream, and binge watch Netflix. And there are other days where I don't have a care in the world. And not even someone like your brother can get me down. And there are roads in between. You have to take care of yourself first. It's okay to take time out for yourself. Splurge. Treat yourself. Do what makes you happy. Don't be afraid to live to excess occasionally. So, say, if someone despises what they do for a living and hates their job, they should just quit and go work fast food. If this hypothetical person really hates their work and really wants to work in fast food, sure. Realistically, they should figure out what they actually want to do and pursue that instead. And what if what they want is a who and not a what? Then they should definitely go after that person. Just in a normal, non-stop way. <laughs> All hypothetical, of course. Of course. Hey, I may not know exactly what your coming out is like, but I've been through my own and can relate. And I'm always going to be here for you. I know, I should have reached out sooner. None of that! You reached out and that's all that matters. So, what's your next move? I guess, find what makes me happy in life and go do that. Like you said, enjoy the pleasures in life. Now let that Sounds like solid advice. Yeah. Uh, sorry for pushing you away the other day. Hey, what did we just talk about? If you need space, take it. I just don't want you to think that you can't lean on me when you need to. I know. Thank you for checking on me. You're a really good friend. So are you. Don't forget that you have friends to lift you up when you need it. Or to leave wine and chocolate on your porch when you need that. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I've got some more dreams to mend, but maybe you could show me around some clubs this weekend? You might regret that on Monday. I'll talk to you later. Love you. You too, Val. Oh, come on, not you two. Envy just left. Hey, this is good. Two of us in one morning? We you're really making progress. I don't want you to leave. I mean, what that conversation had to do with you anyways? Remember, more than face value. You're about making the most out of life, aren't you? Bingo. Life is meant to be savored. If you don't like something about it, then you change it. I'll try. You'll succeed. Hey, who's gonna do all the cooking? Okay. I may have left the recipe somewhere in the house. Where? <laughs> You'll see.
Finally coming into his own. Fine. Maybe the kids finally seen the light. About damn time. It's so tiring listening to you two. Can't we all just rest and lay down for a while? Uh, where'd Emil go? To take a nap. He went to a little mortal's room. He'll be right back. That was some good pie. Thanks. Uh, a friend made it for me. It's a party gift. Oh, I'm jealous. No, you're just horny. <laughs> so, Miel, didn't call you over here just for pie. Yeah, that was a little obvious. Now that you're out and proud, we're gonna have an afternoon play date. What? Wow! Oh, no, 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 Emil, just, just no. Um, actually, I wanted to talk to you. See, I'm doing this therapy thing. Wait, what? you actually just called me here to talk? Yeah. The thing is, I actually liked you. I didn't want this to be just a fling or one night stand. I wanted it to mean something. It was just a bit of fun. Adam, sex doesn't have to mean anything. Yeah, for me it does. I mean, I'd never been with anyone except Willow. It was a huge step for me. And you kept talking about how you wanted to find your other half. I guess I deluded myself into thinking maybe I could be that. Aw, that's sweet. But I'm not really into the destination, but the journey, you know? Sex is fun, and that sweet high of a new attraction, oh, it's the best. But there's no guarantee it's gonna last. What if you get bogged down with baggage and miss out on finding the love of your life? Better keep things simple and open, just in case Mr. Wright comes along. No mess. That's rather cynical, don't you think? And I guess that's the thing. I don't mind baggage. I want messy. I don't need the high to last. I just want someone to feel comfortable with who makes me laugh and smile. Someone to live life with. Well, shit, how was I so blind? Not sure what you're talking about, but you do you. It's not really my thing. So I guess that's a no one hooking up today? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. All right, all right. Let me know if you change your mind about being friends with benefits. I'll see you at work. What? Oh, come on, not again. You finally figured it out. No, I didn't. You told me to my face and I didn't get it. You can't always see the obvious. Yes, you can. That's why it's obvious. <laughs> Being obvious doesn't preclude circumstances which blinds you to the truth. I made a mistake. I equated sex with love and intimacy and assumed one naturally led to the other. You didn't make a mistake. You felt an attraction and you acted on it. But that's just one aspect. I know. You're more than just physical attraction. You're emotional, spiritual, essential. The desire, the passion to find someone that just fits. That's the word, you know? W what word? Um, desire? Yeah, but also passion. It'd be a lot nicer if people called me that instead of lust. I'll call you that. Thanks. Now, if I'm not wrong, you've got someone you need 
the doctor. I guess you're right. Shit, I haven't seen him since the party. I mean, what if he's homophobic or not even gay and has no interest in me at all? You'll never know unless you try. I guess you're right. Thanks, the passion for everything. You're welcome. Lonely in this house. I know what you mean. God, you two can be such saps. And you can be a jerk. But I realize there's a lesson in that somewhere. Sure is. Maybe you're not as hopeless as I thought. And you're not the asshole that you seem. Yay, we're all getting along. Who wants to cut? Uh, what? I'll be the big spoon. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. You'd look like an idiot if you got it. Yeah. Hey, don't get too fresh. You'll give Dave Lawyer a run for their money. <laughs> um, hi. Grace. I wish I could say it was a pleasure. I feel as though I owe you an apology. For what? Turning her back on her friendship for a more profitable one? Or conspiring with my ex to put me back into an abusive relationship? Do you know about that? We. I figured it out. Yeah, for both, and for generally acting like a shitty person towards you for the past year. How about being an accomplice to outing me to my family without my consent? That too. Yeah. I'm sorry. Could have sent a text. Less work. I figured you would have probably had me blocked by now. Yeah, I definitely considered it. Look, after that night, I started to reflect on my motives, and I realized that I had been selfish. And ignoring Willow's bad behavior for my own personal gain, I really didn't mean for it to go that far. Yeah, well it did. I know. I was hoping that maybe you'd be willing to forgive me, we can start over. I'm sorry, Grace. I can't. You hounded me for months, adding stress that I didn't need. I do appreciate the apology, and maybe someday we can be on friendly terms, but I need space and time. I would really appreciate it if you gave that to me for the time being. Seriously? In pairs? Kid grew up faster than I thought he would. <laughs> He's very efficient. Less work than doing each one individually. I hope things get better for you. Goodbye, Helen. Goodbye, Grace. Oh, not again. Uh, seriously, it hasn't even been five minutes. That's good. No wasted effort. It should it be harder than this? Shouldn't there be more? I mean, I don't feel like I'm having epiphanies of self-realization or karmic transcendence. You're not. It's a process. It requires patience, like me. Some of these are things that you previously realized. You just hadn't vocalized them or put them into practice. Others, well, accepting what we represent as a part of you, it's a, only the first step. But it's a very difficult one. I recommend you take a nap afterwards. That's what set you off, wasn't it? Sometimes we need time, space to rest and recover from events or people. Sometimes putting space between yourself and those things that cause you stress can be helpful under the right circumstance. You got all that from a nap? Actually, from my therapist. The nap just helped me figure out how to apply it. Good. You should listen to them. They sound smart. Sloth, I don't want to say goodbye. Then don't. I think 
you finally understand? Oh, check. About you and the others? Why you each push me in your own way? I guess I owe you an apology. What for? You reminded me of Willow at first. I thought you were making fun of me any time I tried to stand up to you. But not anymore. No. You're being sincere and actually cared about me. She never did. I was just a toy to her. And you're right. I let Willow walk all over me. Not just her. Same thing with my coworkers, with Emil. You're about assertiveness and standing up for oneself, aren't you? Not too bad, kid. But then, why are you still here? I mean, I stood up to my mom, to Emil, to Grace, even to Willow. Sort of. She um, was in sloth's court. Avoid at your own cost. But my point still stands. Shouldn't you be gone with the others? My work here is not quite done. Check me. What am I missing? Nothing. You have the right of it with Grass. But there is yet one task which you have not done, which she is waiting for. Leo. You got it in one. You think this is going to help you? Standing up is only going to make the fall hurt that much harder. Always being positive now, aren't we? It doesn't matter if you banish these shadows. This is all fleeting and full of pain. Yeah, it is. But there's love and happiness here too. And I'm not done just yet fighting for it. You are going to fail. Yeah, maybe. But maybe not. Hey, Leah, thanks for coming. Please. I got your text. It was kind of vague, though. Uh, yeah. Not something I could talk about except in person. Okay, so what's this about? Okay, so we haven't really talked since the, um, Incident. That's one name for it. I texted you. You never responded. Yeah. Things went sideways so fast that at first I thought it was better to not involve you in my drama. And then one week turned into two and I didn't even know where to start. I was an idiot. A little bit, yeah. But you seem to be dealing with a lot, so I won't hold it against you. But I still get to feel frustrated about it. And you have every right to feel that way. I should have responded, even if just to say I needed some space. I owe you an explanation. You don't owe me anything. But I want to tell you regardless. Um, if you'll let me. Sure. Okay. Okay, here it goes. Willow and I had a toxic relationship, and I let it eat me for years. I didn't know what to do or how to handle it, so I just went along. Well, after we broke up, I hit a pretty low point, and I, um, I tried to kill myself. Holy shit. I, I, I didn't know. I never told anyone about it. The thing is, it wasn't really about Willow. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. See, she had done such a good job at tearing away at my identity that I hated myself and didn't think anyone could like the true me. Well, anyways, afterwards, on the advice from, um, friends, I started therapy and started to work on accepting myself and simply being happy with it. And I was starting to work on being open to others about it, but, well, um, that didn't go quite as planned. That's a very tactful description. <laughs> yeah. How about shit show? Concise and to the point. And you already know the punchline. You were there. Yeah. I'm sorry. No one should have to come out that way. <laughs> yeah, zero stars do not recommend. Here's the hard part. See, I'd spent so many years denying that I was gay that even after I started exploring that aspect of myself, I had no idea what to expect. 
And then I found myself falling for someone without even realizing it. Your coworker, Emil. Ah, uh, no, that was just me projecting onto others. It. It was, um. This is Come a on, spit it out, kid! It was you. I started falling for you. Adam? This changes nothing. Good job, Adam. Before you say anything, I know you might not be interested or even interested in men, and that is okay. Adam. You don't have to reciprocate my feelings. I just hope that we can still be friends. Adam! What? Why don't you just ask me? Ask you what? If I like girls or boys. Oh. Um. Well, um. Do you? I, I, I like girls, and also boys, and frankly, Mr. Oblivious, I like you specifically. You, you do? Yeah, do this. I do. Until you finish the kiss. Not too bad, kid. See you around. What? No speech? You wouldn't listen anyway. Hey, Rath. Thanks. For everything. Recipes? Adam, uh, <laughs> why are the recipes stuffed in your couch? Uh, <laughs> that is a long story. Maybe I'll tell you about it sometime. You just want to seem mysterious and hang the allure, don't you? Well, is it working? Maybe. <laughs> but don't think it gets you off the hook for ghosting me. Didn't even cross my mind for a second. I owe you big for that. <laughs> yeah, you do. But I forgive you. <laughs> So, about us. Do you want that? And us, I mean? This won't change anything, Adam! Yeah, I do. It, if you want it to, that is. Yeah, I mean, I've only liked you since the first day we met. Granted, you did make quite a first impression. Oh, God, I remember. Oh. Think I can get a repeat performance? I think it could be arranged. <laughs> hey, um, Leo, could you grab me a glass of water, please? Sure. Uh, be right back. So it's down to you. Releasing vainglory won't rid you of me. I'm still going to be here. Yeah, I know. Really? Maybe this experience hasn't been a total waste then. I'm glad you finally decided to accept my help. Ada, ever since this whole thing started, I've been trying to run from you, ignore you, or outright dismiss you. And for that, I'm sorry. Why do I get the feeling you aren't accepting my help after all? You're all the darkness inside of me, aren't you? Everything I hate about myself, all my fears and negative perceptions, my, my depression. You aren't some malevolent force. You are just a part of me. And you're right. You aren't going to go away just because I've figured out other parts. But that's because you're just as much a part of me as love and happiness and passion. You're a part of me. And I can accept that. Pretending that everything is fine, that I don't have depressive episodes, that I don't have dark thoughts that I need help to get through, it won't make you any less of a presence. I... You are a part of me, and you'll help define who I am. Nobody's perfect. It's okay to be flawed. I accept this part of me. I accept you. I knew you could do it. Goodbye, my glory, and thank you. Adam, where'd you go? 
Who are you talking to? What? Who are you talking to? Ah, uh, just myself. I do that sometimes. I hope it doesn't freak you out. Why would it? Here you go. Thanks. If you don't mind me asking, what are those? I don't. Mind, that is. <laughs> it's my antidepressants. They help keep me above water. There's no shame in that, you know? I actually have social anxiety. I take them for that myself. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's not something I genuinely advertise. Just thought you'd like to know you're not alone. Thank you. No problem. Not just for that. For everything. For being so supportive and accepting in spite of everything. Being so patient with me. I can get so wrapped up in my own head that I don't see what's standing right in front of me. No worries. I'm so good at this learning thing myself, and I wasn't sure you were even interested in. I hope that clarifies things. Don't know. It was uh, awfully subtle. Oh, really? See? So subtle. Mm-hmm. Subtle. With a hint of apple. <laughs> Thank you very much.